Hey everyone, so today I'm back with a favorites video. I wanted to do a current favorites. I guess this would be January favorites, but it's kind of like late in the game. So it's probably just going to be called current favorites because it's like the middle of February already, almost. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few favorites to show you. Beauty, fashion, uh random favorites and so let's go ahead and get into it so i have all my beauty products in this little uh box right here um let's dig on in so the first thing that i have is the origins ginseng uh refreshing scrub cleanser and energy boosting moisturizer i use these in the morning and they smell like orange um and it's it's really uh, refreshing in the morning, I guess, and it helps wake me up. I got this in a box from Sephora, and I had a few other Origins products, but I really have been loving these. I use them in the morning to sort of help wake me up um, since they have, I think they have ginseng in it, which I know is something that they put in energy drinks. So yeah, and I haven't really been breaking out. My skin has ooh, been looking pretty good, and I guess I have to thank these products. Next is my primer. This is from e.l.f. and it's the Illuminating Face Primer. I talked about this in my last video, which was my Valentine's Day tutorial. Um, anyways, so this is a really, really shimmery primer. And so when you put it on your face uh, after moisturizing, it, you kind of look like a disco ball. But as soon as you put any sort of BB cream foundation over it it just gives you the most natural looking glow and i really love this stuff and yeah um and it's super cheap which is always a plus and then over that i've been using my clinique acne solutions bb cream i've been using this for like literally months and months now um, this is the best foundation slash bb cream i've ever used it's super easy to apply really nice coverage really natural really thin um, it doesn't it doesn't look weird throughout the day. It um, they don't, I don't think they have the best color range, and I've only ever found this at Sephora in the skincare aisle. So I don't know where else you can find it, but yeah, this is great, and it lasts for so long since it's a liquid, and you really only need like two drops of it at most. And yeah, and it has SPF 40, which is obviously always nice. Something I've been really getting into this month, um, or I guess these past few months, is contouring and highlighting. So this is the Anastasia Contour Kit Light to Medium. This is the powder one. I kind of wish I had the, uh, the cream one, but the powder one works just fine for me. I mostly use this color on the bottom because the other two I find are a little bit too warm for my skin and a little bit too dark. Um, I've actually going to start using them as eyeshadows so that I can use them up and I don't just like hit pan on one of them and not the others. And then up top I've been using this under my eyes, the little like banana e powder, the pinkish powder sort of on my jawline, um, and then the shimmery pink sometimes as a blush. And yeah, I've been really loving this. It was quite expensive but I think it's worth it and I've been really loving it. Along with that I've also been loving my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Now this is pretty disgusting right now. Um, I <laughs> am a little bit embarrassed to show you this because it's so messy but I've been really loving the one in the middle which is Incandescent Light um, and I've pretty much just been putting it all over my face. Um, all the high points, so my, my forehead, my cheeks, um, my nose, forehead, basically everywhere, I just sort of like pile it on because I love the way it makes your skin look. And yeah, another highlighting uh, kind of product I've been liking is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter. And this is a little concealer. I put this over my normal under eye concealer and then I also put it on the bridge of uh, on the tip of my nose and above my lip because that's where I find that I get the most redness just sort of throughout the day so I like to highlight it so it's not so red and it kind of cancels out the color and it's a drugstore product so obviously it's pretty inexpensive. 
for eyebrows, I have switched over to the uh, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I've been using the Brow Wiz for quite a few months now, but I decided to go for the pomade, and I've been really loving it. I have it in the color taupe, and I find that it's the perfect color. It's Especially when my roots start to grow out, it's nice to frame my face a little so I don't look so washed out with such light hair. Um, and it's really easy to control. I just use a tiny little angled eyeliner, br uh, yeah, I guess angled eyebrow brush. I brush my eyebrows out and then I just do little strokes and you can make it as thick and as re not realistic as possible, but you can really do anything with it. You have so much control over the way your eyebrows look and it's great for filling in really sparse areas, which I pretty much don't have like half my eyebrows, so this is really nice. An eyeshadow that I have absolutely been loving is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush, and I've been really loving just putting this, packing this all over the lid for the most part, and it gives a really nice sort of copper flush to your eyes. I'm not even going to try to show you, but I'll have a little like insert of what it looks like, but yeah, this is a really great eyeshadow. I wet my brush before I use it so I get more of like a foiled look and it's really, it's really great. For eyeliner, I have been obsessed with winged eyeliner recently. I've been pretty much doing it every single day. I have it on today. And what I've been using is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Like everyone else, it's either Kat Von D or Stila and I love the Stila one. And I have it in multiple different colors. So I have like a periwinkle, a navy, and a gray. I've been kind of wanting to try a maybe like a pink or a dark green. But the black is great as well. And it's just super easy to control. The one complaint I do have is that the more you use it, the tip sort of starts to get um, a little bit frayed. And you kind of have to pick at it so that you don't mess up your winged eyeliner all the time. So... Yeah, it's a great eyeliner and it stays on all day. I don't know if it's waterproof, but my mascara favorite is the Benefit Roller Lash. I used this pretty much the entire summer when I was studying abroad and I ran out of it. I was using a drugstore mascara and then I decided to pick this one back up because it is just such a nice mascara. Um, they claim that you don't have to curl your eyelashes with this, but I still do, and it just makes my eyelashes look insanely curly and dark, and it separates them, but still gives them volume, and it's not clumpy, it's not super wet, it's a fantastic mascara. And my last makeup product is a lipstick. This is from Bite Beauty, and this is in the color Pepper, and it's a the Luminous Cream Lipstick, and it's just sort of like a... Um, like a brownie mauve color. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a really great lipstick and it's great for any sort of eyeshadow look. It goes with everything and I really love the packaging. It's just super simple. <laughs> and then my last beauty product is a nail polish. Now don't look at my nails right now because I've been biting at them pretty severely, but this, uh, this nail polish is really great for when my nails are really short. And it just helps them look a lot more clean than they normally do. And this is OPI's Bubble Bath. And I know that everyone always raves about this polish, but it's super opaque, which is nice because it's a creamy pink. And normally you can't really find that with pastel eyeshadow, or not eyeshadows, pastel nail polishes like this. A random favorite of mine has been my adult coloring book. Now I feel like everyone has one of these by now, but I'm really loving this. Um, currently, I've done three pages so far. Um, we've got this like paisley one, this elephant one, and then this sort of mandala. Not really, I guess it's more like flower, henna flower. Um, one, but yeah, I've been really loving this and I think the designs are really nice and I just like to spend, you know, some time with just some light music on and just using all these color pencils. I got both of these things on Amazon and it, there are so many colors in here and I'm sure this was expensive, but I was really stressed out and I was like, I'm just going to give the best sort of set of color pencils I can find. So yeah. Um, 
I would really recommend one of these and they have a million different kinds of them whether you want flowers animals sort of like uh, I don't know and anything really the first fashion favorite of mine is actually something that I'm wearing and I didn't actually plan on making this video when uh, wearing this uh, this sweater but this sweater has been a favorite of mine for months now since I got it I have pretty much worn it like every single week it's so soft it's from Ralph Lauren I got it at the Ella mall and it's just a white sort of creamy cashmere color and it's super light but it keeps you warm and it's really soft and I love the color and I love the fit of it and it has this nice little I think it's a navy uh, polo guy over here and it's just this sweater if I don't know what to wear I will wear this and you can wear it with anything scarves a colored shirt underneath necklaces you name it. The next fashion favorite of mine is a pair of pants. I decided to put these in my favorites video because it's not just like a pair of jeans but they're these boyfriend chino pants that I got from Banana Republic. I got this at the outlet um, and it's this sort of like grayish blue color and I have them rolled up at the ankle. And I just find that they look pretty professional but also sort of laid back. If you style it correctly you can wear it with a collared shirt. Uh, dress it up a little bit more. You can wear it with just a simple t-shirt and dress it down. I want to do sort of a styling video on non-traditional pants, so like pants that aren't jeans basically. Um, let me know if that's something you would like to see, but I really love these and they're surprisingly flattering and even my dad told me that he liked them. Okay, the next fashion favorite I'm so excited to show you. And they are these, and no, they are not Stuart Weitzman. These are from, let's see, the brand is Unisa, and I got them off of DSW's website. They have them in black and gray. They look just like the Stuart Weitzman ones. I'm honestly going to have to go buy the gray ones because I'm so obsessed with these. And the best part is they are only $70, which is pretty much $700 cheaper than these Stuart Weitzmans and these are so comfortable they don't like slide down or anything i just got my normal size and like you can wear them in so many different ways and i love them okay now moving into random favorites i have a list here on my laptop so we're gonna get into this my favorite tv show right now i'm re-watching gossip girl which is just so nice to after a stressful day at school to come back and have Gossip Girl to watch because it's just so like dramatic and just sort of romantic in the sense that it's like totally unrealistic but um, my favorite music of the month I made this huge playlist um, called I don't actually know what it's called and I don't have it on my laptop but I've been really loving um, Daughter. I listened to their new album and I bought a few of their old songs. Um, a few of my favorite songs are, let's see, sorry. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, New Ways, which is on their uh, new album, Amsterdam, Medicine, and Youth. Those are some of my favorite daughter songs. And then some songs that I've been really loving as of late um, remember me by by televisor and I have the I have just the standard song they have a bunch of remixes but I've been really liking that um, losing control by Russ it's kind of like a, a rap song I guess you could say um, just a bunch of like random songs from a long time ago that I've been really loving a really random one is American Boy by Estelle and Kanye, which is super just like unlike me, um, but I just started listening to it again. Um, I've also been loving Cage the Elephant, so my two favorites are Ain't No Rest for the Wicked and Shake Me Down, which are kind of old ones, but yeah, those are some of my music favorites. Food favorite, I don't have it with me because I'm pretty sure I don't have any more, but it is English muffins, so pretty much there are a million ways that you can eat English muffins. Two of my favorites are with peanut butter and jelly, and my other favorite is with like some butter, some, and then marinara sauce. No, no butter, I don't know why I said butter. Some marinara sauce and then melted cheese, so it's like a little pizza. 
yeah English muffins are like the perfect just like meal if you're not really hungry or snack if you're really hungry so yeah <laughs> I also don't have this with me to show you, but it's my Amazon Echo. Now, if you don't know what an Amazon Echo is, just go Google that shit because it is so great. She's in my bedroom. Uh, <laughs> her name is Alexa, and she is amazing. She's my alarm clock. She's my stereo. She's my news, my weather. She tells me everything. I play games with her. Like, she is just the best, and I got her for Christmas, and I'm so happy. And then my very last favorite is my new Instagram account. I made a new Instagram and I'm so thankful. Last night Instagram just released a, um, a new feature where you can switch accounts. So now I can manage both my accounts on one without having to like log out. And so my new Instagram is the keys to fashion which is the same um, title as this channel. Um, and it's linked down below but yeah I've just been posting more fashion and sort of lifestyle beauty favorites or not favorites but just things um because my other account is more personal and so i didn't want to bombard all my friends and family with things that they probably couldn't care less about <laughs> so those are my favorites as of lately and i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's anything you want to know or see or hear from me and i will yeah I'll do it. So yeah, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!